previously on the Kiev Major. already wasted. Static Storm goes down. Spartan's gonna be caught inside of that one. They do manage to get... Oh, there's the Juggernaut with the Refresher. Maybe they can blow him up, but OP, he's laying waste to all the other Mouse members, and they couldn't do enough damage to finish burning out. That means it's pretty much all over. Mouse are gonna lose this fight. It's just a question of how many heroes are gonna go down. They're gonna use extra RP to finish off the Timber Saw as well. This is dangerous. IG are actually going to try and fight this one out without the RP. He blinks forward, skewers backwards. They've already blown up, almost blown up Spartan. He gets a little bit of spin, manages to silence himself. Meanwhile, XXS is the target from Madar. He's going to be able to pick up that one along with Bobica. And IG, they've stumbled into a world of hurt as they try and contest the Roshan. Previous games, they immediately oh, counted the swap back. The swap As a result, is going to be able to get Doug. He BKB is trying to run himself away from OP, but he's slowed down by the Scotty and isn't going to be able to do much. Skylark popped his ultimate just to try and help save Thug. Modern actually gets caught in the stone case. He's going to die inside of it. He managed to get the doppelganger out. Can he get back to face the Radiance Burn? And a blank for He got it. He gets sent all the way back, but not before he claims the life. Tier 4 is already gone. They're focusing on the throne. Half HP. Kandok offering laid out. Spartans here. Throws out the Static Storm. Can't stop the damage from OP, though. IG will finish things up in a Game 3 base race. Be a different story because then they could still blink doom the army. Oh, they're gonna get the doom on Michael George right? and even though the blink out was there, they'll still find the race to grab the doom. A brilliant stun comes out onto three though from GH. He will die. Is it gonna be enough to allow his team to secure the fight? Jump forward for a miracle, will be held back by the spike characters, but they've already brought down two. There's the Yules trying to protect himself. Miracle gets the burst off in time. They will find the third, but again. Liquid are taking these fights that are so risky and so difficult. Like, again, risk-reward is just not favoring them. from Miracle. They want to go in for some sort of a big play. GH rolls through, but the Roshan's already fallen. U9 picks up the Aegis. GH, Grave Dug trying to get himself out of there. The Doom will manage to bring down Ember Spirit. In return, U9 pops the Omni Sash. They've actually managed to break the Aegis immediately. Faith gets taken down by a Bell Strike. This buyback from Miracle could just hold Liquid in the game. They'll look towards U9, who goes for the play for escape, but the Bell is too much. Miracle's not done he's angry he wants more he wants blood miracle should get the fourth kill here surely can't be cut players around he can in terms of sort of long-range catch it's it's a little harder for liquid for sure they need to have that, that opening with a shards or a good sprout mind control will sprout out the spent he's got the quelling blade in his backpack he's got no way to cut through the trees he's been surrounded we'll get the chance to stop but it doesn't matter the exit isn't there the wits is goes oh gh is beautifully catches three to silence the snowball through his three for liquid and it's going to be a four five man team wide liquid are oh, just stepping it up Running out, Liquid will back, there's the Jewel, they come in, can they protect the Tumor Man, the Solar Crest, the Snowball, it may just be enough to protect you from this Jewel, they've got the Lockdown of KP, KP's out, but Tumor Man survives, this one, this triple C, gets the Slug Fist out, they're falling, 
time, but it doesn't matter. You nice down. There's a die back from Sven, a die back from S Triple C, a liquid. They may have def well, they've definitely done it here, Sin. Both calls on newbie down for 100 seconds. No way for them to get back in this game. GG is called, and liquid are moving on. Abed will get silent, sprouted now. Bulba trying to engage onto him, almost dies in the process, ends up living, kiting away. Great plays by Bulba. Now looking for Freeze, looking for the team wipe. Can they finish him off? He's got the Aegis. They probably have to kill him twice, as he will end up dropping. Yeah, Aegis is not going to expire just yet. So round two, here we go. Nobody in sight. Not going to be easy here for Freeze, as they continue to pound away at him. Freeze going for the TP out. No! Under the gun here as they are about to lose the racks and now oh it's no. Bulba's turn to whip! A double disaster and double trouble for DC. Can Abed save the day up against the absolute hardest fight of his career, dare I say it, as they continue. Aggressive now, just munching on Demon. Another death for him, the long range taser from Freeze. That's it, it looks like. Salt in the wound, and a final finishing blow as Fiji Gaming KO Digital Chaos knock them out of the Kiev Major and advance themselves into the top eight. The only person they don't have here just yet is Ricky, but Ramsey's just surged in to the middle of IGV. They want him to fight, but now you're on top of the Radiant Shrine. Ursa Purification, there goes the Agency Mortal. Nothing huge had to be committed for that until now. God's strength is up. He's actually silenced after a rock wall fall with a fatal bolt. Got an angel will actually have to protect them for a little bit longer, but VP, they are way too strong, muscling their way. Defensive spirit up from Paparazzi. He's looking to make that jump. Paparazzi jumps in. Roshan is killed off by the Dire Rams. It's the Aegis Immortal, but with a cleave damage. Sakata is actually committed into this. In July needs to get him out. The back three man wall and crunch! Well, now is his turn! With someone dropping the ulti! VP! It's not just a badly lost team fight and Roshan gone. Now with the spirit away, he actually already is on the defense. The back into a two man wall crush. It's going to be enough to bring down both the Sven as well as the Omnan in July. Yes, he's down. And oh, they don't really have anything. Nothing more to fight with. They've lost everything. The whole enchilada is going down the drain pipe for IGV. And GG Virtus Pro. Sudden TNT. Oh, oh, this is a good job. Oh, he's done it. He snatched the Aegis Jax. Oh, oh no. huge AoE damage comes through for the Crystal Nova. TNT falling low jabs with the big ball play. Mana, and he has Mana Void still. Oh, Black that's going to be a huge of amount here. of burst. And there we oh. have it. The flying, and he doesn't even need to use the Mana Void jabs. Takes the kill as he tosses black. The Omni Knight ulti also didn't save the Venge. She died really early. Oh, uh, speaking of death, that is a dead Nyx. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he's got. He's gonna get out! Oh my! No, oh. no, no! Can we just No, this did one charges! Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> no! Way. no. Oh.
the yoga ends up stunning himself. Black, absolutely lovely. GG is called. Black and the boys have done it. Faceless take the series 2-1. Fly is going to show himself immediately going to be pounced on and shouldn't have much of a chance here, especially with Fly able to secure the kill. That being said, both Weaver and Night Stalker on their way and they're very mobile heroes, but S4 can turn things oh. around. He managed to get a three-man ulti with the follow-up from Anna. They're going to be able to take all these kills. S4 comes in big time and says, I do not need a Naga Sire to set me up. Up forward. Will manage to grab Fly. That's a big oh, one. They can the actually finish him off. Meanwhile, the Brewmaster initiation comes out. Unable to get the silence fast enough, but they do have the swap out to be able to buy Blink some time. And his ultimate is doing a lot of work. OG are low on all sides. Fly even the back, almost taken out. They do have another great win. Just curse to the Shadow Grave. Will manage to save Jarek just in time. Big jump in from Anna. Tries to get the burst damage, but now he's silenced up, and he's just going to die to Shadow. Jarek comes forward, trying to finish off Blink, but it's not quite enough. Blink with the Gold Scepter is able to defend himself. Now it's going to be Fly. Food for fodder as Shadow managed to Pick up another kill, looks for the wipe as No Tail is going to be the final man down of OG. Stable concoction queued up. Yule Scepter to dodge, but Faith Beyond still going to be caught in the process. And it looks like Blink can't manage to make it out. LSA hits on two, but now Duel on the Shadow. They can't the afford to lose their animage. What a beautiful boundless strike. And I tell Kitty's follow up. They're actually stunning all these heroes. They need the big ultimate to finish this one up. And in the back, flies dead. Here comes the ultimate. It's not enough to finish off Anna. Shadow didn't have that much mana burnt. And out now, Shadow's going to be caught. He doesn't have to blink away. He's dead. 80 seconds. No buybacks coming up from Team Random. There is no way that Blink can do enough damage, can he? It's not. GG is called. Will break misery against the vision. Oh, oh no! Boom is the bar strike and comes the mail! Look at the army, the eclipse will fall. Where is the glaive damage? That's easy. Still alive for the bar, so probably not much longer. Misery, he will finally fall. Boom pushing himself up the hill, but the mail under the cover of his own BKB has the life. Weeha trying to man this up, but he can't get out. He will be able to find at least one kill on the support, but he cannot survive. So Moon is moving over. He can potentially kill up the Ire. Samael is in the neighborhood and he actually gives a Lincoln to be a protection to Zai. Moon can't go on him and the duel, it wraps up the Rubik, not to mention the overwhelming odds. Universe, he's a match rock, just putting tire marks all over Moon's face. A triple kill. He needs to win his duel. I'm taking bets here. Let's Four. see. One, two, One, three, two. four, five. Okay, I'm over. The Sonic Wave will try and help out us against the Medusa, the biggest target. The Dream Call is down, but there's just no follow up without the Medusa. Thunderbirds, they're losing everything under their shrine, and GG, well played. It won't even take the half hour mark. And Evil Genius has got 2 0 through into the quarterfinals. Would be a good initiation. The hook, perfect. Static Storm's there for the follow, but he just yules and tries to survive for now. Now the snowball comes in. The rockets drop, looking to counterplay this mid one there with the chain. Sleight of Fist as well. Continues to oh work around it forward. Kaboom! They just explode. Mid one did a pretty good attempt, but with all of those illusions beating on him, an SF illusion of his own, he actually just died quite quick to physical. In our knees in deep, he's gonna drop the cloud. Surprise, he says, as they unload. Tavo's there with the fall. Now the glimpse back, they look for more. HFN gonna force out the borrow time, and they will retreat.
Adriano, he's got the BKB, commits, looking for the Kezu pick. Can they lock him down, finish him off? Not quite able to do so. Now the Roar coming out, keeping him in place. The Slark fights on, do it all. Oh. And now the Epi has a massive ball of damage that Tavo delivers, crushing Secret. God. And SG have pulled out the miracle at Kiev. The comeback kids are in town today. The most discounted series of the day turns out to be by far the biggest upset. We are about to see some very excited guys running onto the stage. save him. Baboka is there with the Wukong's command. He'll get it out, forcing the side of Liquid to back up. They'll trap TH in the party ring. He's out and down. Miracle looks towards OPQ though with a big freezing field, bringing the pain down onto Miracle as Baboka finds the double. The OPs can't fight mid lane. Spectre having fun with the Monkey King. The Kelly offering jump down onto his head, burning. Goes forward with the Mana Vault. Oh, he's so oh, 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 away. He'll survive. The Grieve Zora healing him back up. He's going to be A OK. Miracles controlling, burning, burning out of the Mana. Being pummeled down by Kuroki Mind Control. And a miracle. They do it. Liquid. Try and get the space to finish off these racks. They'll look to commit onto the melee. GH once again with the Fisher looking for a perfect chance to jump in. Great but like again, cancelling the blink dagger. There's no way for him to initiate. Wukong's command will be laid down for Boca to fight him through to the moment. They'll get the space for the melee rack. There's your Echo Slam. Onto the Monkey King. Monkey King's out and down with the chains. Onto Mind Control. Yeah, oh, the Whoa! Wow. From XXS wipes three. Miracle's back in the fight, but he has to BKB and run. The Salancy's Eclipse not enough to hold IG back. They've managed to get the reincarnation off and down. OP jumps back in. Oh, oh my god! Oh, with the vacuum wall! It's gonna be all over. Miracle will buy back, but GG is called. IG move forward, knocking Liquid out of the competition. OG just didn't bring enough heroes. And, and the amount of damage they did. Oh, this oh, is not already good. down so oh, low. S4 is going to go down. Black is in the back. Light. He's going to be able to pick up an extra one. Catches fly. OD, Anna in the imprisonment. He's going to come right back up and go right back down again. 16 to 4. Being held in place. They do have the hook, but he's actually going to throw it out onto Jabs, knowing that Anna has the Aegis. They really want to fight this one out, but Nuts does manage to finish off that Aegis with his freezing field. The Blink Dagger is going to be up for Anna, but he actually hit him with the waveform. Oh, so he doesn't manage to blink himself away. What a huge stun, though. The Centaur controls up the fight. Now they get their turn around. They're going to be able to blow up the Morphling as he's rooted in. Gets him with the Ensnare. Turn around from Ice Ice Ice. Manages to catch the Centaur, but there is the extra hold. No Tails making sure that nobody from Faceless escapes alive. This is not going to be a full out spread. He's going to try and get the static storm with multiple heroes, but it take down jabs first. Eh, the regen, not going to be enough. He's down for two minutes. Now the rest of the faces good call on to two. Again, the two cores controlled up by S4. And uh, freezing field, let it go. Nuts is, might as well let it go because there's not much left in the tank for faceless. They're getting overrun by OG. They stormed the base with Anna, taking a melee ranks. Faceless don't want to go out of this tournament. They knocked TNC out to be here. They don't want to fail Southeast Asia like this, but it seems like OG are just one step ahead.
this Aegis, it looks like, while the bottom lane pushes in. Raindrax starting to take chip damage. Will no one go for the big play? Oh, wait, oh, oh, He's no! trying for it, and he gets it too! Snatching the Aegis out from under Beachy. They had time there to grab it. They were slow on the draw, indecisive, and he punishes them in a big, big way. BP surging towards the pit. Do they get here in time? FY out in front. He will scout things out as the observer on the high ground. He reveals Ramses. He's happy to sacrifice his life if that's what it takes. And he gets the stun and it's on the mag. Huge catch keeping Tosh away, but the Roach isn't dead yet. CMO getting dropped solo with the zoning play. And now the RP. After it all, he waits and into the waiting side blades. No one will strike. Fights for BP pulling it out of the hat. ROTK. He didn't have the vision to get the bash, but Vici Gaming start to outplay VP down the stretch here, and now they've got them on the run. They damage no one, they chase forward, RTK's there, but now the combo! Thank you, Static Star! Absolute destruction, Vici Gaming! The door slams shut and cuts them off at the hands. Desperately trying to hold on, but their life flashes before their eyes. No buybacks, no chance. BP have done it. They take the series and stay alive to the final day. Forest strike almost no into from Tarver. The wall is up. Laguna Blade. They commit everything to kill him off. Martini can buy back, but some mail! A huge ulti out from him. I want to catch Lena and disrupt her out. And the Juggernaut, he needs to do work. The Omni Slash Matter. Oh, oh the Barra Strike. And Tarver, you thought it was going to be ineffective with the pipe. just picked up a double damage rune, however, so this may work for their advantage. The blink down, here comes your tornado, catching out the crystal maid, but the dream call, catching oh, through man. the huge black hole, stolen! He actually got a Rubik and silence up, he can't let the black hole go just now! Do they have enough for this? You are losing the Rubik, it is SG coming out on top, Universe the last man standing, and he's no been put way. down! He just hit it, Salvo the genius! SG will go inside the pit, they're looking at Roshan, so man, the five man coil with the cogs will lock him in, but the door doesn't work, SG, they've lost three, this could be a disaster in the pit, they've lost four, make it a wipe, it's impossible, Juggernaut comes out, the Omni Slash, he will go down, Lena's coming back to help out, but now she reveals her position, she bore back to be involved in this, EG, they got the winning moment, they find the Legion Commander, the damage, the final bonds, a rock will connect, SG, they find the damage, but Universe still alive, he's gonna bring him down, the clockwork will fall, the Shadow Grave did the work, even though Universe on the sideline for 105 seconds, the Ancient's still open, Arteezy, he's hitting into it, he's looking for the kill, and will it be it. enough, it should be, it is, SGG, evil geniuses, they have been pushed to the limit,